renunciation, E. Bear, Earl of Oxford. Is this Lord of the Manor, wondering to himself about how men can be taken in by women that are not worthy of their goodwill? I'm left with the impression he's not being fully honest in his assessment. He thinks if only beautiful women were better at giving all their attention to the one they are attached to, it would then make sense to be in marriage a marriage with them. They will even leave the company of the one in the highest station to be entertained by some silliness in another. Why don't men shake them off and let them go where they will? He toys with, I hesitate to call them his friends, by drawing them to him with promises not quite made. This entertainment, entertainment gets wearisome and then he withdraws himself. If reproached, he has a ready answer. The fool plays with fools. This is more than just a renunciation of women. He seems weary of society in general. A renunciation. If women could be fair and yet not fond, or that their love were firm, not fickle still, I would not marvel that they make men bond by service long to purchase their good will. But when I see how frail those creatures are, I muse that men forget themselves so far. To mark the choice they make and how they change, how oft from Phoebus they do flee to Pan. Unsettled still, like haggards wild they range, these gentle birds that fly from man to man, who would not scorn and shake them from the fist, and let them fly, fair fools, which way they list. Yet for disport we fawn and flatter both, to pass the time when nothing else can please, and train them to our lure with subtle oath, till, weary of their wiles, ourselves we ease. And then we say when we their fancy try to play with fools, oh, what a fool was I.